Friday, Southwest Montana. Missy O'Malley is off. Matt Elwell has our forecast in a moment. Our top story this half hour, busiest shopping day of the year is here. It's Black Friday. Customers are flooding stores and malls across the country. Search of great deals. Thanks to a booming economy, analysts expect Americans to spend more than $1 trillion this holiday season. CBS's Laura Podesta has more this morning from New York. Black Friday started on Thanksgiving Thursday for these shoppers at Macy's flagship store in New York City. I mean, to me, that's a new level of shoppers paradise. It's a growing trend that turns Thanksgiving weekend into a five day shopping holiday. For the entire weekend, we're expecting more than 164 million consumers to go out and shop with about 70% of those uh, shopping specifically on Black Friday. Many waited for hours in long lines to snag a deal. Well, all that time outside, Nicole, was worth it. Oh, yeah, definitely. 70 inch TV for 600 bucks. You'd have to be insane to give that up. Others hit the malls. I'm looking for all the great deals. Big box stores like Best Buy, Target, and Walmart are featuring deep discounts to draw customers. Shoppers scrambled for TVs at this Walmart in South Carolina. Other retailers are offering special promotions. This woman scored a $500 coupon at JCPenney. I wasn't expecting a coupon at all. Definitely not this. Shopping together on Black Friday is a family tradition for Treva Brown and her mom. It's just, you know, for us to come back together and just, you know, do something fun and get out the house. The National Retail Federation estimates consumers will spend about $1,007 this holiday season. That's up 4.1% from last year's spending of $967. And that's music to retailers' ears. Sales this year are expected to be nearly 5% higher than last year. Laura Podesta, CBS News. How's this for a number? Consumers expected to spend about $5.9 billion online today. And that's ahead of Cyber Monday. So 